so we made it to Eureka Springs, but we actually arrived last night. But it was really late and we were really tired and it was really dark, so we just went to bed. After we watched two episodes of Breaking Bad. Which TJ is going to have to finish by himself because I'm way too freaked out to watch any more episodes. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the first things on our agenda in Eureka Springs is to show you this awesome place that we're staying called the Fairy Hut. So Mary Catherine's gonna show you around. Let's go. Okay, I changed clothes, got ready for the day, and as we said, this is our fairy hut. So come on in. When you walk in first, everything's pretty open. This kitchen has everything you could need. They put the cutest little details in here. Super cute coffee mugs. They have all of your cooking utensils, everything, which we'll show you more of when we cook some meals. They left us a little note here. It says, welcome TJ. TJ is the one that talked to them, so they didn't know I was coming, I guess, but that's okay. They left the keys. This was perfect. We got here pretty late like we said and so they just left the door unlocked and left all the lights on and it was perfect to walk into this so welcome to our kitchen which I really love the size of this island by the way it's nice okay next to the kitchen we have the living room this chair is one of my favorite chairs I've ever sat in I just sink right down into it Lovely TV with all of the options you could need. There's YouTube, Netflix, there's a Roku stick, so you can watch lots and lots of different things. Again, it's all pretty open, so there's just this like half wall here, and here's the bedroom. The bedroom has a much bigger TV than the living room, but it's really fun. Again, has all the options of the things you could want to watch, and this bed is a Tempur-Pedic bed, and it sits up. It also like has one of those built-in massage things. Show them the remote. Awesome. The bed comes with a remote. Yeah, that's awesome. So there's like a sit-up thing for your head and your feet, and then a massage thing. It's so freaking cool. Like we were sitting here watching Netflix and last night, and then TJ just reached over and picked this remote up and before you know it, we're like sitting up and I was like, what's going on? And he showed me this remote and I was like, oh my gosh. It's also one of the most comfortable beds I've ever slept in. Slept really, really good last night. We did unpack all our stuff so we're not living out of a suitcase for the time we're here because they have these lovely dressers and drawers. So, I mean, <laughs> why not use them? Don't mind all of our camera and <laughs> battery charging stations here. Now, this fairy hut I will say might be a little odd to stay in if you're not staying with family members because again the wall does not go to the ceiling yeah. <laughs> so everything's very very open yeah <laughs> but this bathroom is big a lot bigger than I expected and a lot bigger than it looked online which is awesome and all towels and washcloths are provided so you don't have to bring your own and then the toilet Show them how the toilet works. <laughs> oh, good one, good one. And I brought my blow dryer because I didn't think there would be one, but they have that here. They also already had coffee. They have like some basic seasonings for cooking in the kitchen. And like I said, every kitchen utensil that you need to cook, it's fantastic. They have literally put so much detail into this place that like they think of things you don't even think of. Like <clears throat> one of the biggest issues for me when I go to places, new places is like, especially if I'm filming, is finding enough outlets to charge our stuff. And there's literally outlets everywhere. Outlets, 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 outlets. Like there's outlets literally all yeah. over the place. That's just the bedroom. There's plenty of space here. We'll show you clips from the other properties next to us that the same family owns, which we also recommend staying in. This place is huge. Like we looked at it on the irishill.com website and like the pictures were just kind of like small. I was like, this is kind of small, but it's kind of cool, you know? But like when we showed up last night, we like opened the door and I was just like, this place is huge. Yes. The pictures do not do it justice you online. You also get a full fridge and a full freezer. I forgot to mention that, but this is so cool. And it has an ice maker in the freezer. Yes. 
This place also comes with a gas grill and they take care of all of the propane and stuff for you. And then like a table and place to sit outside. This is the front oh, yes. porch. And then on the back porch. The back porch is my favorite because we can make s'mores out here. They have like a fire pit thing and then some sweet places to sit. Like everywhere you look, it's just like trees and, and wilderness. I wish we could take video of the view of the stars. Last night when we got here and it was dark, it was like, you can see all the stars, it's beautiful, but we're also not far from town. So it only takes about five minutes to get into town, which is great, but then you're out here. Like, and it's so quiet and it's so peaceful and it's just amazing. a great place to stay. <laughs> We're actually going to go eat some Mexican food right now. Tell mm -hmm. them a little bit about it. I was researching places to eat while we were here in Eureka Springs, and this one place kept coming up called La Familia Tex-Mex, and I'm a huge fan of Mexican food. Oh yeah. So <laughs> I thought, well, I'll call them, see what they're about, talk to Mito, the owner, and he said, yeah, come on in. I'd love to meet y'all. Please come eat at our restaurant. So we're going to go check it out. We've hit so many bugs between <laughs> home and here that TJ's got to clean the windshield. We got the GoPros up here. Um, we thought we might like time lapse some of our drive, but the windshield is so dirty. So. <laughs> the mirrors are so nasty too. Good job. Thanks. We got our masks. We're ready for some Mexican food. You can't even see me smiling. <laughs> I love the Spanish music. Makes me feel like we're in Ecuador again. Okay, yeah, so if you like everything, this comes with two tamales, one enchilada, one burrito, taco, and guacamole, rice and beans. So it comes with everything. I think that's what I want. Is that what you're getting? Oh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, that guy. So yeah. Is it good? Yes, that's like, it's different from other salsas. It's almost a little sweeter. So we're at two wins so far, the guacamole and the salsa. For sure. Mm -hmm. That tastes like homemade salsa, not like, like store-bought store -bought salsa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so I asked Mito, the owner, what we should get, what he recommends, and he asked what I liked, and I said a little bit of everything. So he recommend this, and this is the Mexican platter, and it literally comes with a little bit of everything. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, so our waitress recommended anything with shrimp. And so I got beef and shrimp. It also comes with the sauteed peppers and onions, and then rice and beans, and guacamole, and... Tortillas? Yes, tortillas, too. Which I'm really excited about. It's kind of like fajitas, but the sides. Yeah. It's gonna be good. Right. I know it's gonna be good. Hot. <laughs> it's real hot. We have to wait a second. <laughs> okay. I have to say, I don't even go for shrimp. Um, but since she recommended it, I was like, well, I guess I gotta try it. I'm really glad I did. Yeah. All right. What is that? This, yeah. I kind of mixed together my rice and beans and my steak yeah. <laughs> and some guacamole and sour cream. It's so good. I'm not usually a fan of cheese enchiladas, but this plate comes with uh, an en cheese enchilada and it's so good. Like it's really hitting the spot. So I thought I'd try it, even though I'm not a fan of cheese enchiladas and I'm really glad I did. So this definitely has my vote. That was really good. Really, really good. All right. Thank, thank you, you so guys. Much. Thank you very much. So much. Nice to meet you. Okay. Nice you uh -huh. Guys, <laughs> that was so good. Mito was so, so nice to us. He sat down and talked to us for a while. We found out he's been here for 15 years. 15 years. Which is awesome. And he just loves it. 
Like, it was so cool. He said, it's a long time, but it's really fun. And I thought that was really neat. And if you need more proof that this place is really good, I was told a long time ago that when you travel, you should always go where it's busy, even if you have to wait, because that means that's where the locals eat, which means it's really good. And this parking lot is full. Every table is full. They can they have to shut a few down because of COVID, but every available table was full the whole time. And when somebody walked out, another person walked in and sat down within the minute, I'd say. So if you're in Eureka Springs and you're feeling the Tex-Mex vibe, go to Familia Tex-Mex. La Familia. La Familia Tex-Mex. <laughs> so good. <laughs> okay, when you come to Eureka Springs, you have to go shopping downtown. That's where all the fun little shops are and you just get to park on one end or the other and just walk in all of them. So we're gonna go see who's open. I bet there's some that are probably closed right now because of the coronavirus, but I think most of them have been reopened and it's a really, really fun place to hang out. So we're gonna go see what we can find. So quick little pro tip is if you follow the hill all the way down from downtown, there's this little parking lot behind me and you can park for free and there's restrooms. So it saves you five or $10 or however much it costs to park elsewhere. Park? I think it is. Oh my goodness. We stumbled on this little <laughs> musical park. What do you do? I don't I don't even know that you're supposed to do this. <laughs> I have no idea how it works. It's so musical. I do have a degree in music. Another bonus of parking in the free lot, you get to go through the musical park. It's a bit of a walk from the free lot. That's okay, right? You're saving money. How do we get a ride on that? So we found these cool rainbow stairs and we're gonna we're gonna climb up to the top. Feeling good? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Try to cross the street without getting running over. All right, here we go. Let's just, let's take a moment to stand at the bottom and, and just admire. Okay, we're back on the stairs. We had to stop at the game store because we really like games. It was pretty cool. And we're arriving at the top. Mary Catherine ran off and left me. This is Mary Catherine's favorite store because it's all about cooking and baking and everything in here is, is unique. It is so cool. Grad hat. There's even a giraffe cookie cutter. There's music ones. This is so cool. Look, Texas. Ooh, Texas. <laughs> TJ's from Texas. So we're looking at the radar to see if we should try to walk down the hill uh, to the, the truck or not. And we're surrounded by green. Do you want to chance it? Or do you... I say either we go really fast or one of us waits under an awning. Okay, let's go really fast. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So far, so good. Yeah. It's okay. just barely sprinkling. Just barely. We've got another like 10 miles to go. Oh my gosh. According to the radar. It could just pour down rain any second. Any so. second. And we did not bring the rain guard for the camera. Nope. <laughs> we made it. We made it back to the truck before it started raining. Oh, I'm sweating. We barely got here. But we're here. But we're here. 
<sighs> okay, now we are going to the Funky Twig to get ice cream. Most people that know TJ and I know we cannot pass up any opportunity to get ice cream, especially somewhere like the Funky Twig because they have tons of five-star reviews online and we've heard they have some really interesting flavors, not just your traditional ice cream flavors, so we're really excited to try those. We kind of forgot we have to pay for a parking meter. Maybe we should have done our research a little better. Alright. Sweet. I think it's, it doesn't say that it's, it still says expired, but it says that it's active. Cool. Let's go get ice cream. Yeah. It feels really nice out here right now. They do not have your regular ice cream flavors. They're funky, which is why it's a funky twig. It smells so good in here. <laughs> of all the places we're going while we're here, this is by far the most exciting to me because I love ice cream. <laughs> True story. He closed the shop for us. <laughs> a bubble waffle, which is our Sunday. Uh, it was featured in 417 magazine uh, back in December. Anything with chocolates, only with Ghirardelli chocolates. Anything with fruit, made with fresh fruit. I would pick something with chocolate. So Mississippi Mud's our best seller. Two different types of Ghirardelli chocolate and marshmallow cream. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I have some good chocolate ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of cayenne pepper. So we got like 10, 15 seconds mm -hmm. to get like a little, little zing. Oh my goodness. Is it hot? Wow, it tastes like like dark chocolate ice cream, which I love, and then all of a sudden it just hits you. <laughs> uh, our sorbet, dairy free, uh, six pounds of pineapple, eight pounds of strawberries. Right. And it's dairy free, is that and what you said? Dairy free. Oh my gosh. That's good. <laughs> TJ, you need to try that one. I need to try that one. Try that one. You would love that one. <laughs> That one makes me feel like we're on our honeymoon again. <laughs> what y'all going to do? Like, say, you better explain that. <laughs> we went to the same. Kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. Milkshake form. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> See ya. Okay, guys, that was the most fun experience. We met Brody, who owns this place, him and his wife, Christy, and they gave us the total VIP treatment. Oh, yeah. They spoiled us for yes. sure. They like, shut it, their doors for just a few minutes and made us some really special things. This milkshake is one of the best milkshakes I've ever had in my entire life. No Absolutely. joke. Absolutely, yep. yeah. For sure, they're so kind. And if you come to Eureka Springs, you have to stop here. It's called the Funky Twig. It's right here behind us. Look for the little sign and then the, the ice cream cone over there and uh, tell them that we sent you. Now it is time to head to the grocery store and one of our favorite things when we travel to little towns like this is to make sure we are shopping local. So we are not going to Walmart, even though 
at home, that's probably where we would go. Um, but we're gonna go check out a local grocery store. This lady literally like muttered to me under her breath as she passed me. She was like, is he supposed to have that in here? <laughs> we literally just ate 10 pounds of ice cream and now we're looking for chocolate bars. They're not for today. <laughs> nice camera. Thank you. You must be a professional. You can't be carrying something <laughs> like that. An eight eight. I try. It's just a toy. <laughs> That's special. Having burgers. You ready? Yep. Oh, we might not be having burgers. Is it frozen? It's still frozen. You want grilled chicken? We have chicken to grill? Yeah, let's grill chicken. Okay, let's grill chicken. We'll do burgers tomorrow. Look, they have all the kitchen utensils you could need. This is just a small example. There's lots of drawers of kitchen utensils, but I actually need a knife to get the chicken open. I'm going to put a little bit of salt and pepper on each side, and then I'm also going to put grunt rub on there. This is from Code 3 Spices. My cousin Chris introduced me to this. This is some good stuff, y'all. Shout out to Chris. Shout out to Chris. <laughs> get too much. I always get like worried I'm gonna get too much. I don't want to do a lot of pepper because the grunt rub has like pepper in it that kind of has a kick. Spices are just one of those things like when you put it on meat, whatever you want your meat to taste like. Whoa, that's however much you put on there. Like if you don't want a lot, don't put a lot. If you want a lot, put a lot. You can't mess it up. It's just however you prefer. I'm also going to make roasted broccoli to go with this. I just buy a bag of frozen broccoli and then put salt, pepper, garlic powder on it. Sometimes Parmesan cheese, I don't have any of that so I won't this time. But then I put it in the oven at 425 for, oh gosh, 12 to 14 minutes depending on how frozen it is. And it's always really good. So, Got this from a special friend as a wedding present, and I have used it many a time. As you can see, I take it with me on vacation, and it's going to aid us. Even though this place has all of these things, basically, I like to use my own. They're seasoned, right? And always bring a lighter, because you never know what you're gonna get. Super convenient, this place has a grill. We might need to clean that, but that's all right. Always clean the grill. And that's because if you want those nice black grill marks on your food that you get in the higher end restaurants, most of the time you can't get that if your grill's dirty. 
little pro tip, TJ's pro tip. So we'll let that heat up, and then we'll grab the meat and set the meat right on the grill. Okay, now I have to find a pan for broccoli. Broccoli pan. You were a broccoli pan. Where would you be? Just need a pan to roast the broccoli on. Okay, this is not the regular kind of sheet pan that I would use. However, this will work just fine. Broccoli cut. Use this to get the pizza earlier. Wash it off, it's fine. Single layer. Some oil, oops, salt, pepper, garlic powder, mix it all up, and we'll bake it. I love roasted broccoli. <laughs> Ooh, all right. I'm used to using a charcoal grill, so this will be interesting. Can you hear that sizzle? <laughs> oh yeah! Yay! Always turn off the grill. Yes. Good advice. Always turn off the propane. So we're gonna eat dinner and probably watch another episode of Breaking Bad. Sound good? Yeah. We'll see you guys in the morning. is day one in Eureka Springs. I can't vlog if you're gonna laugh at me. You can't look at me either. I know, but I can't vlog if you're gonna laugh at me. But it was really late last night when we got here. It right, was really well, dark. I'll say that we, uh, we both uh -huh. arrived last night. Okay. You paused like it's you okay. were waiting on me. That was really good. You did really good. <laughs> Thanks. I messed it up. <laughs> So we made it to Eureka Springs last night. But Wait, hold on, no, I'm gonna say I'm just not very good at this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you had to edit that. And this one place kept coming up called La Familia Me Tex Mex, I believe. Let me say that again. You do with the Well You do what you can will <laughs> yeah, He's cleaning the mirror now. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> There's a fly. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You're right. Oh, you're right. Is it recording? Oh. I've been looking at the wrong place to see if it was recording. That's funny. Tell us. Oh, wait, no. Okay, we'll just cut it there. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell us anything. <laughs> That's stuck in my head. Sing it. Um. <laughs> No thanks. Not on the vlog. Tell it to the vlog. Just because I like one more than the other. I didn't really mean to oh. repeat yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this other pilot, I don't think this other pilot, this other pilot's on. Meanwhile, an explosion happens. We'll know why. 